Can somebody please tell me what the f is a beach body? What's up y'all? Summer is finally here. And of course, with every approaching summer, there's always these horrible, horrendous magazine headlines that follow women wherever they go, talking about how to achieve the perfect beach body. Last time I checked, if you had a body and it was at the beach, preferably under an umbrella and with a margarita, that's a beach body. But of course, according to our messed up society, it has to mean something more than that. Hi, I'm Nyla. And I don't think I have a beach body. Even though I was always taught in my household to love my body, the way media photoshops women's bodies has had an impact on the way that I look at my body. I'm Kane and I don't think I have a beach body. Especially in the gay community, like images of like fit men with like abs and like torsos and like shoulders and arms, like, and you look at yourself and it's like very average and it feels very unsexy. If I had to rate my view towards my body, it would probably, it would be a five. When I'm sitting down, like I can feel like a tummy, and I'm like, ugh, I have to be, I have to have a flat stomach. And I'm probably never gonna have that, and I don't know how to accept that. When I was in my teens, I struggled a lot with my weight and self-worth. My sources of motivation to lose weight were always in the wrong places, and usually stemmed from a desire to look good for other people instead of looking good for my damn self. I remember having a skinny list, which was basically a list of things I told myself I couldn't do unless I lost weight. Looking back on this time in my life, it really makes me sad that I couldn't be comfortable with who I was and that I felt mentally restricted from things due to my size. So I wanted to take a fellow lady and a fellow man because let's be real, men also deal with their fair share of body insecurities too. And I wanted to challenge them to believe in their beach body. I decided to bring in my lovely, fabulous, fantastic photographer friend, Christophe, who helped me through my boudoir photography shoot. And I wanted to set up some type of a photo therapy session for them at the beach. I finally have a bathing suit. I'm super excited, so nervous. Our photo shoot is today, and it's also our boss's birthday, so we went out for tacos and birthday cake. Oh no. I am challenging myself to wear a two-piece that doesn't have a high-waisted bottom, because I feel like that's a part of my comfort zone, and I'm really taking this opportunity to not be in my comfort zone. Last night I also looked up guys posing on the beach. Wait, really? Did I you? did, and that's a bad idea because everyone is ripped. I was nervous at first because I was shirtless for the first time at the beach in a long time, and like the poses were like felt weird at the time. When Kane was going, he was just slaying, and that kind of boosted my confidence a little bit, and then when it was over, it was like, okay, your turn. <laughs> and that's when the nerves started to hit. I'm kind of nervous. I'm fine with wearing the bikini. It's taking the pictures and looking at them afterwards and getting in my head and critiquing myself. Do you like how you're looking? Yeah, I just feel like I look mean. The, like, the whole blanket thing, like, I, that's when I started to like get in my head a lot more because it was a prop and I started to feel like I was like covering myself up and I wasn't really feeling challenged. And then eventually like I got in touch with the elements, like the waves came and the wind blew and like I like started rolling in the sand. <laughs> People were saying like, go Nyla, like you got this, like you're slaying. So that was like really encouraging. Who came to slay? I came to slay. Yes. I feel like more connected with my body, I guess. And that's kind of nice. <laughs> How you feeling? Good, good. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited and nervous. Are you ready to see him? Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> we even got the water dribbling down you all sexy and shit. You know it's real. Like, I love the wave action. The wave here. is hilarious. <laughs> but kind of cool. I like exude confidence. Like the eyes, the body. I'm really insecure about my stomach and I realized like how beautiful my tummy is. In this photo, I'm like confident and like, I look like I'm enjoying the beach. Oh yeah, you're just like, I don't care. Yeah. Like I got a beach body, let me show y'all yeah, my yeah, beach yeah, body. Yeah, 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 exactly. Let me show y'all. Yeah. 
Do you feel like you have a beach body now? According to these photos, I definitely think I have a beach body. Yeah? yeah. I would second that. I go to the beach and I'm in my body. So yeah, I have a beach body. So our six pack abs and really toned legs, really awesome to look at at the beach. Of course, I'm not gonna lie about that. But just because someone doesn't have them doesn't mean that they should be restricted from being comfortable in who they are. If you're feeling yourself, that should always be enough.